Hey my video chips, welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a review video, so get your snacks ready, your popcorn, and your soda because it's gonna be a long one. Today we're gonna be reviewing the new Lush foundation. Yes, you heard it right. Lush came out with a foundation and I think it's going to change the makeup industry and the makeup world because I had never seen a foundation like this. It's so interesting in a new way. So I'm excited to see how this foundation is gonna work. It's literally so tiny, so if you guys wanna know how this foundation wears out, how it applies to the skin, and all the good stuff. I'm gonna give you guys all the details later on in the video. Also, I am going to be reviewing this new Life Glam Shadow Me subscription that they are about to launch, but I'll give you guys also more deeds about this later on in the video, but this was definitely not planned, but I just got it in the mail literally like 10 minutes ago, and I was like, you know what? Might as well just include it in the video and review two things at once. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. Alright guys, so I'm gonna start with my eyes first. Since I did get the Shadow Me palette in the mail today, I'm going to be doing my eyes first and then we're gonna move on to the review of the foundation. The reason I have to start with my eyes first is I already have a makeup routine down, so if I don't start with my eyes, I feel very weird and out of place. If you have your makeup routine down, then you totally understand what I'm talking about. So we're gonna start with my eyes first and this is the Life Glam Shadow Me subscription. They already have the Morphe Me brush and the Kiss Glam lip subscription so the only thing that I was waiting for it was this right here so this has been in the making for such a long time and it finally released so by the time you guys are watching this video the palette is already out and honestly if you want this palette make sure to go ahead and sign up today because right now there's no waiting list whatsoever but if you wait till other people get their hands on this palette then there will be a waiting list and you'll have to wait the way this works is you're going to pay $19.99 every other month so it's not every month, but it's every other month. So basically for $19.99, you will be receiving a palette with six shadows every other month. Here is the palette and here is a lipstick. So if you sign up with my link, you'll receive the palette. But since you sign up with my link, you will also receive a free lippy. So I am so excited to test this out. You guys have no idea. I've been wanting to play with this palette for such a long time. All right, this is what the packaging looks like. I'm actually quite surprised because it feels pretty sturdy. It doesn't feel cheap at all so once you open it up this is what the shadows look like it does come with this mirror I think it's a very decent sized mirror I feel like I would have been not so pleased if it didn't have a mirror just because when you travel and you know you're traveling you want something where you can see yourself right so you're working with the shadows and you want a mirror so I really appreciate that they did put this now the shadows look like a pretty decent size but they might look nice, but we need to see how they apply on the eyes. That's what we really need to see and if it's worth the $19.99. So I am applying Venice Beach all over my crease as a transition color right now. And so far, the pigmentation is looking really nice. They're blending very nicely as well. They don't have a lot of fallout, so that's actually really good. So I'm just gonna use this as a transition color. Now, moving on with Santa Monica. We're going to apply it right underneath of Venice Beach. Right here. Okay, so this color is actually really pretty. It definitely is pigmented and it's blending very nicely with Venice Beach. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of a Santa Monica just to deepen the crease. Now going back with Venice Beach and the same brush we used in the beginning, I'm just going to blend everything out. Next we're going to take Beverly Hills and we're going to apply it to the outer corner of the eye, but we're also going to blend it with Santa Monica. So this brown definitely has a lot of fallout compared to the first two shadows that we used. It's a very like rich brown color, but it's blending very nicely. I really like this color. So far, it's applying really nicely. It's blending really good with Santa Monica. I'm actually surprised that it's blending very good, except the only thing is that it has a lot more fallout compared to the other two shadows. All this fallout is the reason why I like to work with my eyes first and then my foundation, because if I was to do it vice versa, my foundation first and then my eyes, all of that fallout will get underneath my eye area and then I will have to clean it up and then start all over. So this is the reason why I do my eyes first. 
I'm gonna take a little bit more of Santa Monica and we're gonna pop it right here. All right, now that we have those three shadows all blended out and set to go, I'm going to take my Maybelline concealer. This is in a light tan, and I'm going to take this small brush, and I'm going to go ahead and cut a crease. So this is not a tutorial. It's basically a review, so I'm not going to go very in-depth with every step that I'm doing. But if you guys do want to see like a cut crease tutorial, let me know in the comments down below, and I will love to film that for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead, cut the crease, and I'll be back. Okay, so since I already have my crease cut, I'm going to take Hollywood, and I'm going to take this this very small flat brush and we're just going to go ahead and put it where we cut the crease ooh that's a really pretty color I like this so with these types of shadows I always love when they're extremely pigmented without you needing to get your brush wet for example without you not needing to use the fix plus by Mac I love when you can just go ahead and go in just straight in with your brush and just go ahead and apply it and they have really good pigmentation so as you guys can see, this shadow is really pretty just by itself, just with a dry brush. So I'm going to go back in with Beverly Hills and the same brush we were using and just blend this whole area out. You want to seem like there's a transition, not like there's just two straight lines. So I'm going to start blending it out. Okay, next step, I'm going to take Santa Monica back again, but with a flat brush. All right, since I am completely done with one eye, I'm gonna do the second eye off camera. But before we move on to the foundation, I wanna give you guys my final thoughts on the palette. I actually really, really do like this palette. I like how you get six shadows. But not only that, the packaging is really nice. It doesn't feel cheap. You get a mirror and the shadows are really high pigmented and they're really rich. It's very easily to blend. Personally, the formula and the shadows remind me kind of like the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I must admit, this palette is better than some of the hush palettes that I've tried before not all of them but some so I really do like this palette I highly recommend it since we are completely done with the eyes we're moving on to the face now to the foundation I'm so excited so I already primed my face I use the pore professional by benefit so this is what the foundation looks like it comes in a little box I don't quite remember the price of this since I did pay in euros for this foundation they don't have it in the US yet when I heard that it wasn't in the US yet I was devastated but then I was like I can still order it so I ordered it from the UK website from Lush and it took about a week and a half I'll leave the link down below in case you guys want to order it so this is what it looks like it's kind of an egg shape and it's definitely something very different this black part here is the handle where you hold it from and right here it says your shade 15W now they do carry 40 shades which I am loving that now the makeup industry and in the makeup world they are just expanding the color variation in foundation that makes me so so happy so I got 15 W I did print out key points about the foundation which I'm gonna read to you guys it is a buildable coverage it is a dewy finish it hydrates softens it rejuvenates with the application there is 40 shades available with a cool and neutral undertones it is highly buildable so I'm excited to see how well it builds up and it blends now it is packed with softening nut oils to make your complexion glow. Um, it is composed of 14% pigment and 45% Indonesian coconut oil. So what I love about Lush is that they're very just, everything is very organic, very healthy, and it is 100% vegan. So I love what Lush stands for. So this here, as you run out of all your foundation, you can peel it off. It's actually wax. So that's very interesting. So that's about it for the foundation. The rest is just to put it on the skin and see how it applies and if it does have buildable coverage. So I am going to be using the little mirror that I was using from the palette so it doesn't really come with any instructions on how to apply the foundation or what's the best way to apply it so I'm thinking just applying it like this like a stick so we're just gonna go ahead and go for it it feels very soft it smells like lush have you ever walked into lush that is exactly what it smells like and I really like it. It doesn't smell bad. I love the smell of Lush. So let's see. It looks like it's my foundation color. I am going to be using a Morphe blender to blend all of this out. So I'm going to use my Morphe blender and start blending all of this out. So 
So it definitely is light to medium coverage. I'm not even quite sure if this is my shade, but we're gonna go ahead and work with it. It is light coverage right now, but as I told you guys, it is a buildable coverage, so we're gonna start building up very slowly to see how it blends out. So as you guys can see, this is definitely not my shade, but that was definitely my fault, but we'll keep on working with it. So far, it's blending really nicely. As I am blending it more into the skin, the fragrance of the foundation is starting to come out a little bit more. So if you're very sensitive to fragrance, this foundation might not be for you, but if you definitely don't mind, literally it smells just like as if you walk into a Lush store. I know my boyfriend personally doesn't like to go to that store because he says he gets a headache. So if you like the smell of Lush, then you'll be fine with this foundation. But if you don't, then you probably shouldn't get it. So this is what it looks like with one layer on. Definitely it is not full coverage as you guys are seeing. It does feel kind of dewy, but it doesn't feel like I have anything on my face. That's what I really like about it so far. But we're going to go in with one more coat. All right, so it's building up a little bit more. Not too much, you can still see my little freckles here underneath. I mean, but it doesn't claim to be a full coverage foundation, which is understandable, but it does claim to be buildable. So I wanna see how many layers I need and able to get to a full coverage. Now this is the second layer. It honestly, I think right now, it would be considered a medium coverage. I feel like there's nothing on my face, which makes sense because this foundation claims to not clog your pores or make it feel like your face is very cakey, which definitely is true. I don't feel anything on my skin, but we're gonna go on with one more layer and you're probably like, dang girl, stop putting on foundation. It's already too much, but I like my foundation to be very full coverage and this does claim to be buildable. So I also want to blend a little bit more down my neck since this is definitely not my shade. We're going to apply one last coat and see how this one will do. So this last layer, on this side it looks a little bit more full coverage. But on this side it still looks the same. If you guys can see my imperfections here a little bit. But it's blending out very good. I'm very surprised because normally you know how like after layers and layers and layers you would feel like your face is just already so cakey. You don't feel that way and I really like that it's blending out very nicely. I want to see how it blends out with the concealer, with the powder, all of that stuff really does matter as well. So we're going to keep on blending it out. Okay, so this is after three layers of the foundation. Um, it definitely does look very, very dewy. So if you're a person with dry skin, this will be really good for you. On the skin, I was trying to figure out what it feels like on the skin. It feels definitely like a CC cream. That's exactly what it feels like on the skin. You guys know that CC creams are not too heavy. They're kind of light. The coverage right now, after three layers, I would kind of consider it medium coverage still. I'm going to use this Maybelline New York, and I'm just going to apply it underneath my eye area oh so it blended very nicely very lovely with the foundation as you guys can see okay so this is what it looks like once the concealer is all blended out next I'm going to cream contour with this LA girl pro concealer in the shade toffee now I'm going to go ahead and grab my blender again and blend this out. I want to see the point of me doing the concealer and now the cream contour product is because I want to see how it blends out with the foundation and so far it's doing really good. It's blending very nicely as you guys are seeing. Now that I am done blending it, all the cream products out, I'm going to go in with my powder. This is where I'm really interested to see how well it works with the foundation. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm just going to take the same side of this blender that we were using to blend out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start baking underneath the eye area. Okay, now with the Morphe E34 brush, whatever is left on the cap of the powder, I'm just going to go ahead and start setting the face. I'm going to start by setting my nose. Here's where I want to see how well it sets into the skin because usually around this area of my nose, I tend to crease a lot as you guys can see. So I want to see how well this sets on the nose area. This is what the foundation looks like with the powder. I am noticing that on top of this area here is starting to look a bit patchy. Also around here, it's emphasizing the lines. 
and around the nose area it's starting to look a little patchy I don't know if you guys are able to see all that it's only this and the nose and around the mouth area everything else on this side is doing good so far it's just this section here but I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face and I'll be back alright guys this is what the makeup turned out to look like as you guys can tell the foundation is not my skin tone color but I definitely made it work as much as I could now um, final thoughts on the foundation right here from the Lush foundation what I think about the foundation, I think it's something different, something new. But do I like this foundation for an everyday wear? Definitely not. I like my foundation to be very full coverage. Um, and this foundation definitely is a medium coverage. It does claim to be very buildable. But as you guys saw, I did three layers and still not full coverage as I would like to. But definitely I will be using this foundation when I'm like running errands, go to the beach, go to the park. When I want a little coverage, I feel like I'm definitely going to be using it again for that. But if you're a person that loves to wear makeup but you like it on a little bit more on the natural side, then check out this foundation. I feel like you really like it. Also, I did notice since the foundation is very dewy, when I was applying the powder, it started to get patchy. So if you're a person that doesn't need to set their face, and you're a person that has very dry skin, then definitely this foundation will also be really good for you. As for the palette, definitely it is worth the money. I also did apply the liquid that I came with, which is Kiss a Latte, and I topped it off with a gloss. Any gloss would do. In case you guys are interested in any of the products that I use today, they will be linked down below so you guys can go check it out. That is it for this video. I really hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you guys would like to see me review in the next video. And I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, my loves. Make sure you're subscribed so you can watch all of my videos. And if you want to keep on watching more and more videos, make sure to check out yesterday's video. You are not going to want to miss it. It's amazing. Also, if you want to get to know me a little bit better, make sure to subscribe to that vlogging channel right there. And if you can't get enough of me, here is my Spanish channel. So you can go ahead and subscribe. Love you guys so much. And I'll see you tomorrow.